When I'm creating a more simple setup, I will turn towards this Vanderspeck pocket in a smaller ring size. So some of this stuff was already set up in here. Um, and I've shot my stash and cut up some things. I've got um, these little sticky notes from Daiso that I can cross off and change out every month. So um, it just keeps track of what day it is right up front for me. I actually normally like to put them up front, but I do really enjoy looking at this dashboard when I open this up. Um, I've got Filofax dividers along the side that maybe I will label at some point. Um, there's some of these dashboards in here from cloth and paper that someone gifted to me. And I actually really do that, really do like uh, sticky notes. And so this is always like an inbox section. These are some vellums that I printed for my personal size that didn't make it because they were small. So I put them in my pocket size. Um, right up front is kind of like I said, like the inbox area. And um, I really like using that. These are some to-do sheets that come from Amazon and it's upside down. <laughs> so it goes like this. Um, I kind of sometimes like to slice these ones because it, it just makes it that much easier. But they're, mem they're like those Filofax ones. Um, but this is all just in a cream color. So I've got a few up front and then um, just some gridded notebook paper. So, I mean gridded paper. I can't decide between my personal and my pocket rings right now. So that's why you saw the shell of the personal and then this is the shell of the pocket. So whatever one I decide to finally use, um, I probably will show a more in-depth video. But I really love this. This is so pretty against this. This is monthlies that I have used in the past. And this is how January will look once I commit to it as far as the layout is concerned. I want to say it is a Monday start. And again, these came in a pack. Most of all these inserts came from Amazon. So I've got a few months in here. So, and I love that they're undated because I don't have to commit to anything. <laughs> um, the next section here, well, let me show you this cute little thing. First of all, this was from a friend, a postcard, and I punched it in here. And then this says daily reminder to smile, drink your water, work out, remember why you started, and spread love and pos uh, positivity. So I've got that there, and then these are dailies. I really enjoy looking at this. I really love floral. So the dailies are like this from, um, the left-hand side is from Amazon, and then that's just like the Moterm paper because I really love lined paper. You can choose to use the schedule divided in half or just make you know, a point to what's going on, and they're both undated and just perfect so uh, the pocket size is small this is the regular pocket size and this is a van der speck that is a regular before they just did the whole whiting um, you know they made it wider so the next section which is really really nice is just a place for my weeklies and the weeklies look like this and they are Monday through Sunday horizontal and horizontal is my favorite, favorite, favorite. And I love that it's undated again so that when um, I don't want to commit to it, I don't have to. I always use my weeklies where I just kind of do a little line down here and then I can do events and to do's. Or I can use this for like stickerage where I could put a lot of stickers. Ooh, half an inch. So um, that is how those look. And then the next section is like Bible study area. So I really love this. Like this was supposed to be for my personal, but again, it was really short or shorter. So I put it in here and it just reminds me to pray. And these are Bible study or soap study or whatever inserts from so much crafting. You could put the date, the passage, the thoughts, and the prayer. I also have this um, in a 
printable from a friend who made it. It's like the same exact, I think, without this up here. Um, so I can print those out when these are gone. So I just want to use these up and then I can go ahead and print those. So I really love this. It's really nice. And then the last area is just these type of notes. And I thought they can be like notes for projects or notes, notes for, um, you know, more collection notes or even kind of like say I want to write notes about YouTube or like content that I want to film or whatever, I can, I can do that here. Or if I want to do bullet journal style dailies, because normally I like to have like a pretty planning daily and a functional daily in there. So that is that. And that concludes the end. So I love these secretarial pockets. This is one where you can remove these and maybe put a TN insert and make it a pocket TN. Um, I don't really have much in these pockets other than personal things. This right here says you are loved, which is a great reminder from, I don't know, some kind of a journaling card that I would have gotten back in the day. And then this pen is... Um, the inner gel pen is just a cap pen and I want to say it's in 0 0.7 yeah that's my most favorite size for I mean favorite nib for um, my writing I like gel and I like dark so anyhow my friends I thought I would just show you the little flip of this to me more toned down more functional setup than my other pocket Julio XL so thanks for watching.